In this quick tutorial, we will learn how to make this shiny color correction in After Effects, which just looks super cool and can be used in music videos or any edits basically. And it's also super simple, so I'd say let's just go right into it. So I just made a new composition and just imported some sample footage, but of course you can use whatever footage you like. And yeah, let's just start right away. So let's first of all duplicate this layer by pressing Ctrl D on the keyboard. And now we have to select the upper layer and search for a few effects and the first one is the threshold effect. So just look for CC threshold and apply it. And now we can see we have just like some, yeah, some really high contrast, just the white spots. And this is exactly what we want because as you can see in these white spots we will have these nice glowing effects going on. And yeah, so this is just perfect. So this is good. Now let's press um, toggle switches on this yeah, little setting down here. So we have this mode setting activated. And let's change the mode from normal to add just like this. And now we can see that the yeah, white spots are over our normal footage. And now we have to yeah, apply some more effects to make these look a little bit more like glowing. And yeah, so let's search for the cross blur effect which should be on a CC cross blur and just apply it on this layer. And now we have to increase both of these values to a simultaneously high value. So let's just put in 300 in here and maybe 300 in here. And yeah, this is already really good. Basically already what we want. Now we have this yeah, super nice shine going on and this especially looks cool on like high contrast points like jewelry or anything else that that just shines naturally and this is really good um, of course you could say this is yeah, not strong enough and if you want this to be more visible this effect we can just duplicate this upper layer by pressing ctrl D and now we can see that this is a bit stronger and yeah if this is too much you can just press T on the keyboard and yeah turn on the opacity a bit until you have something that you like but I think this really looks good and yeah that's it already for the glowing effect but as you can see in this example we also applied some more color correction which we do through um, adjustment layer so let's just replicate this so let's right click in here and add a new adjustment layer just like this and let's apply a few effects starting with the noise effect so just look for noise in here and apply the yeah, normal noise effect with the adjustment layer and now we can turn this up a bit ah, just a little bit that was way too much yeah like five or ten percent should look good depending on how strong you want it to be and i'll also deactivate the color noise so it's like oh actually let's leave it like that that's okay and we can also add some yeah color correction stuff like hue saturation and maybe just turn down the saturation a bit just like this and if you want to go for a monochrome look like just one color like in here we can apply the tritone effect and just change the midtones to whatever color we like for some yeah styles this might look cool but we'll just go for the yeah light blue one and just maybe i always like to not do it too saturated so we'll just go for a value that has some gray in it just like this maybe but this is completely up to you i think this looks good and yeah that's already it basically of course this time this looks a bit strong but as i said just play around with the opacity or with the duplicates of this yeah shiny layer and yeah otherwise of course you can always add the brightness and contrast effect to the adjustment layer and play around with these settings but now this is completely up to you but yeah actually that might look kind of cool because now we still have some more emphasis on the glowing points but yeah whatever you do is completely up to you i think this looks cool but just be creative and let's see what you come up with i hope you enjoyed this one and see you next time